This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the color of a pattern layer. I'm going to go ahead and create a new file here, and then I'm just going to use the dimensions of 7200 pixels by 7200 pixels, setting my resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Color mode is RGB color, background content set to transparent. Click on create here. For this, we are going to be working with patterns. So you want to make sure your patterns panel is open. To open it, you're going to go to window selecting patterns here. So let's just go ahead and create a stripe pattern. So I'm just going to use the rectangle tool here and then I'm just going to click on the canvas. We know our canvas width is 7200 pixels and then let's just give it a height of 1000 here, clicking on OK. And then I like to work with black, so I'm just going to select black here. And, and then let's just go ahead and align this to our canvas. So we'll just click on this align tool here. Currently it's grayed out, but we do need to change this align to canvas. And then we can align it both vertically and horizontally here. Uh, let's actually make this line thicker here. I've got my properties panel here. And then I'm just going to unclick this because I just want to change the height. Let's make this 1800 pixels, just a little bit thicker. And then I'm just going to recenter it there. Okay. So let's just save this pattern here. I do have my patterns panel open here. So I'm just going to click that plus icon. We can give it a name stripes clicking on OK. And then it has saved that pattern here. So we'll go ahead and turn off this layer here. I'll just create a new layer here. And then so we'll start by adding a pattern layer. I'm going to click on this like half filled circle icon here in my layers panel. And we are going to select our pattern layer. From here, you can hit the drop down and select your pattern so I can find it here. And then you have the option to scale it. So let's just go ahead and scale it down. Let's go maybe 10% here. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and click on OK. So we have our pattern layer here. And so now we want to give it a color. And so the way I like to color my pattern layers is with a solid color adjustment layer. You can find that again under this adjustment layers icon. That's that half filled circle. And we are going to select solid color. It's going to bring up our color picker option here. So let's just pick a color, maybe a blue. We'll click on OK here. And so now we need to create a clipping mask. So you're going to right click, select create clipping mask. And so that will cause the pattern layer to take on the color of that fill layer. And then let's also give it a background layer. So we'll just go right click, duplicate layer. And then I'm going to drag this to the bottom. And then we'll just double click, select a new color. I'm just going to go with white, F, F, F. Clicking on OK. And so now you can change out the colors of your pattern. So we can easily change the color here and it will adjust. So with these three layers, I'm just going to shift click and then I am just going to group them. I'm going to hit that folder icon. We'll create a group and I'm going to turn off the visibility there. So we have our original rectangle. So now I want to create a two color stripe pattern. So I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this right duplicate layer. And then I'm going to move it here to the top. So I'm going to go to edit free transform path. And then here at the top, I'm going to enter my coordinate. So our X value is going to stay the same, but I'm going to change this to zero. So we're positioned here at the top. We'll click on OK. So now let's go ahead and zoom out command or control with the minus key. And then I'm going to turn on my pattern preview tool. So we're going to go to view pattern preview. And that will cause my line to um, repeat. So let's just turn off that middle one. And so we have this new pattern here. And so let's go ahead and save that one. So I'm going to hit this plus icon. We can go stripes two, clicking on OK. And then we've saved our second pattern here. So we can go ahead and turn off the pattern preview mode, view pattern preview. And we'll turn off that rectangle. We'll go back to our test layers here and then 
So I want to keep this one. So I'm going to go Command, click to select both layers. And then I'm just going to duplicate these layers. Right click, duplicate layers. Okay. And then let's change the color of this one here. So let's pick, um, I just have some um, pre-selected colors here. I'm just going to select, let's say, a pink layer. And then we also have to select our new pattern layer. And so now we have our two color stripe so we'll just zoom in command with the plus key we can see our stripe pattern here so when recoloring your pattern layers i definitely recommend working with these solid color adjustment layers thank you for watching this video on how to uh, color your patterns if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below this is trisha from lemon paper lab see you next time